Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and the first question is which of the following codon pairs specify amino acids and if you think that this is a too difficult question to uh, remember all 64 codons uh, actually not everything you have to remember just uh, four codons one is start codon and three are uh, stop codons. Uh, start codon would code also for amino acid, but uh, three stop codons don't uh, code for any amino acid. So uh, basically, in all genetics problems, you need to know only sequence of these four codons. So let's check the first. Um, Codon would be AUG in question in uh, variant A. Uh, so AUG, this is start codon and also it codes for uh, mesianine, one of the 20 amino acids. And second GUG, uh, I'm not going to search it, I know that this is not a stop codon. So uh, this would code for two amino acids and let's check the rest. UGA, I know this is stop codon, and uh, AUG, uh, this is going to be start codon. So, uh, this is not two amino acids, only one amino acid here. And ANSI C, once again we have start codon, AUG, and stop codon, UAA. So, as you see, only one amino acid here. And the last one, UAA and UGA and UGA would be a stop codon and UAA also stop codon. So as you see the correct answer is only answer A. And next question. DNA synthesis in eukaryotes is, and we have to choose the correct answer, imagine that this is double stranded DNA and here we have replication bubble. Let's say that here we have 5 prime and 3 prime and here and 3 prime and here and 5 prime and here. So basically uh, replication would start that uh, two DNA strands would separate and RNA primer uh, would be added to both strands of the DNA. And this RNA primer would be oriented if we have 5 prime and here so here we would have 3 prime and and 5 prime and here if we have uh, 3 prime and here and 5 prime and here so we would have 3 prime and and 5 prime and here so uh, each uh, DNA new DNA strand would grow uh, continuously in Five, from 5 prime to 3 prime and direction. So would grow continuously here and here. And in order to grow in this direction, which going to be from 3 prime and to 5 prime and, and we know that uh, DNA strand doesn't grow in this direction, uh, it only can be grown if uh, more RNA primes would be inserted here and it would grow in backward uh, fashion uh, from 5 prime end to 3 prime end so as you see on overall from 5 to 3 prime uh, end so on the overall uh, the growth would be in two directions but as you see uh, the growth always uh, here uh, on your strand would be only in one direction and the same we can see uh, here we call this Okazaki uh, fragments and also we would see growth in this direction but on the overall uh, growth would be in this two directions and result would be that uh, two strands would separate and would, we would see that uh, old strand 
and new strand uh, formed and another old strand and new strand. So instead of um, double stranded DNA, now we have two double stranded DNAs and each would consist of old strand and new synthesized strand. So we call such a replication semi-conservative and this is answer A and uh, of course uh, new strand of the DNA it never grows from 3 prime end to 5 prime end. We always see uh, growth from 5 prime end to 3 prime end direction. And of course answer C it involves single protein it's also a wrong answer because uh, not only uh, DNA uh, polymerase would be involved but many many different uh, proteins also would be involved in uh, replication of the uh, DNA for example helicase and uh, answer D and E also would be wrong because we have only one correct answer here that uh, replication of the double-stranded DNA is uh, semi-conservative. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.